Dr. Ricardo Rosencrantz is a healer in all senses of the word. He's a professor at Northwestern and an illusionist who stars in a one-man show called The Rosencrantz Mysteries. There you go. He's joining us now to chat about the show, and we're also going to get uh, a few tricks up his sleeve. And here, we hear you have a few tricks with us. I did bring something <laughs> for today, of so course. So, Doc, can you tell okay. us uh, how the show came about and what we can expect from it? Absolutely. Well... I am a doctor. We'll maybe talk a little bit about that at some point. Sure. But a about seven doctor? or eight years, uh, I'm a neonatologist, premature babies. Oh, okay. About seven or eight years ago, I decided I wanted to have a nice stage show, a one-man stage show. I had a great mentor in magic. His name was Eugene Berger. And in 2016, I opened the first show. This is the next version of it. So so it's, yeah, go ahead. Well, it started from a seminar that you did with students, correct? Absolutely, yes. So what's the difference between performing for a room of medical students versus a room of theater goers? <laughs> well, the biggest difference is that medical students get graded by me. <laughs> <laughs> so Whereas they have to clap? Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, you know. Theater, theater goers grade me, medical students... I think I have a little more influence on them. <laughs> so let's talk about the, uh, the, the, how the two compare, medicine and magic. They're kind of both forms of healers, both forms of yeah. uh, changing a person. Well, so I tell my students that there's two memes that I live by. The first one is magic and medicine share DNA because magic is about belief and medicine is also about belief. Magic is about transformation. Medicine is about dealing with transformation. And I also tell them that medicine and magic share, uh, the medicine, and ma medicine is a performance art, mm. Interesting. Like, like magic. Interesting. So, Doc, how do you s go from, you know, you're fully involved in medicine, saving people's lives here <laughs> in the world, and then say, but I kind of want to do magic a little bit. Where does, that, where does that aha moment come from? Yeah, well, magic came back to my life about 15, 18 years ago, and it started with my doing a little few things here and there. And then eventually deciding I wanted to do a, a big show and putting the time for it. So I guess these days I'm doctor by day, magician by night. That is impressive. It's a long I mean, day. I've, I've never felt more talentless in my life. <laughs> I really appreciate that, Doc. Okay, so we brought you in for some magic. Let's yes, put the indeed. proof into the pudding. What Absolutely. You well, you know, I don't do much card magic in the show. In fact, I only do one number. But I thought I would bring a little card magic for you. Okay. It's, I feel like everyone that goes to a party needs a card trick. Absolutely. Well, if the, you went to parties, the, the yeah. next time, <laughs> the next time I can I can teach you some card magic. Okay. This time we'll just. This time do it's it. about performance. Okay. So here's a deck, and you know one of the things that always happens is magicians never want to show you the deck, but you can see lovely little deck of cards. A lovely deck. Absolutely. What happens normally is that a magician will ask you to pick a card, pick a card, pick a card, but there's so much that they can do when they say that. Oh, really? So we're going to try something different. And why don't you all three play along? Let's see how it goes. Okay. Okay, okay I'm going right. to spread the cards quickly. Pick one. Just think about it. Okay? okay? In Ready? our heads. Okay. In your head. Ready? Okay. Here we go. It's, it's important that you do this rather quickly. That, that one? one. Mm hmm now, you see, the thing is, most people tend to go for the high cards. Some people go for the mid-range cards, and a eh, few people go for the low cards. Okay. Felicia, I think you went for a high card. Did you? I did. You went for a high card. Don't say it. Okay. It's going to be difficult. What card did you pick? I'm scared I've to made tell you. I, I picked Queen of Hearts. What? <gasps> what? That is crazy. You're in on this How thing. Is now wait a minute. Now wait a minute. Let, let's let's finish this thing off. You had a different one, right? I did. But yours was not high. No. It was actually low. It's low. Middle. Yes. Yes, it was a middle. <laughs> middle. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Ah, uh, let me just like try, let me try, let me try. This something? is going to be difficult. Let me, let me try. Um, that feels good. What was your card? Well, see, I was an eight of diamonds, so there's no way you got that. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Oh, my God. I'm out. Get this devil man out of the studio. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> and you had a different one? Uh-huh. What was yours? Mine was three of clubs. Yours was three of clubs? Oh, my God. I'm going to try it, I'm going to try it, I'm going to try it. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'll get it. Maybe. Three of diamonds? Clubs, but that was close. The she fact that it was a three is crazy. <laughs> she probably thought diamonds and changes it changes. Did you tell me that? I, I, I did it, but I'm Or was it the away. two of clubs? The Rosencrantz no, Mystery three. runs at but the Royal George through May 6th, the Royal George Theater. Dot com is where you can find ticket information.